Hi guys, welcome again in Machine Tool Workshop. As we have seen in the last video, we have seen the tools and the equipment and their use. But in the tools and equipment of a mechanical fitter are in two categories. There is a hand tools and there is a power tools. The topic of today, we are going to talk about a power tools. On, the top, on that power tools, we are going to talk about a drilling machine. A drilling machine is the machine which can perform a drilling operation. A drilling operation is an operation of making a circular hole by removing a volume of metal from the job by cutting to carried a drill bit. The drilling machine consists, with, consists of flowing parts. We have a base. A base is this one. We may have a column, a column is this one. All of this from here until here is a column. We may have also head, head is from here until here. But on the head is where we have a spindle. We may have a, a hand level. We may have a motor. We may have a table. A table are mounted on the column. We are going to see the type of a drilling machine. A type of drilling machine are so many. We are, we are going to see those types. We have a portable drilling machine. A portable drilling machine is this one. We have also sensitive drilling machine. Sensitive drilling machine, we have two types. We have a bench mounting sensitive drilling machine and we have a front mounting sensitive drilling machine. We may have also upright drilling machine. Upright drilling machine is this one, but also are classified into two categories. We have the upright drilling machine which has around the column, column section. As you see, my upright drilling machine has around the column section. And we may have the upright drilling machine, which has a box column section machine. We may have also radial drilling machine. In a radial drilling machine, we may have three types. We may have a, radial, a plain radial drilling machine. We may have a semi-universal radial drilling machine. And we have a universal radial drilling machine. We have also gang drilling machine. We have a multiple spindle drilling machine. We may have automatic drilling machine. We may have a deep hole drilling machine. In deep hole drilling machine, we have two categories. We have a vertical deep hole drilling machine. We have a horizontal deep hole drilling machine. We are going to see the main part of radial drilling machine. Many part of radial drilling machine, there is a base, there is a column, there is a radial arm, there is a motor for elevating arm, there is elevating screw, there is guideways, there is a motor for driving drill spindle, and there is a table. After seeing the type of machine and their parts, we are going to see the tools which can help us for performing a drilling operation. That tool, that tool we may call it a drill bit. We may ask us what is a drill bit. A drill bit is a rotary end cutting tool with one or more cutting lips and usually one or more throat for the passage of chips and the admission of cutting fluids. We have straight throat drill and we have twist drill. We can uh, categorize the drill bit also according to their shank. When we see, uh, when we, we want to identify the type of a drill bit according to the shank, we have parallel shank tip and we have a most taper shank tip. For parallel shank tip, is uh, look like this. As you see, we have from here, from this edge until here is the body of my drill bit. 
but from here until here is the shank. But we, are, we, we can see also the, the tools which, which can help us for fixing this drill bit in the drilling machine. That tools, we may call it a drill chuck. A drill chuck is this one. This is a drill chuck. As you see, by rotating this on this side, its teeth, it can be, goes in when you rotate on this side, or when you, you want it to tighten your drill bit, you can change the direction. It comes out. For holding your, your drill bit, you can open your drill track, then you may put your drill bit, then tight. By using my hand, um, my drill bit are not very well tight. We may use what you call a drill track key. A drill track key is this one. For, for uh, clamping your, your, your drill bit, you may put this drill, drill track key on this hole. Then these teeth are engaged with the, the teeth on this side. Then you may rotate it on clock on clockwise for uh, tightening your drill track. As you see, my drill track are well tightened. But for, for uh, putting this drill track, it cannot be mounted directly on my spindle. Because of what? The, the, the size of my spindle hole are too small. I have to, to add other, other thing which can help us to enter on this spindle hole. The, the thing which can help me for uh, enter on the spindle hole is we, we call it sleeve. The sleeve, it comes in different sizes according, according to the size of a spindle hole you may have. For example, when I have a spindle hole which has this size, which has this size, I can use this one. I can use this sleeve for mounting my drill track. If it's like this, it cannot hold on my, my spindle hole. It means my, my spindle hole is big than the sleeve I have. I can find other sleeve which can be the same size of my spindle hole. I can use this one. This one I can put I can check if it can fit on my, my spindle hole. As you see, it well fitted. That is how I can mount the, the drill bit which, which has the parallel shank tip. We are going to see how I can mount the, the drill bit which has a Morse taper shank tip. For the drill bit which has a Morse taper shank tip, it looks like this. Like this or like this. All are the same. We are talking about on the shank. As you see, on the shank of my drill bit are tapered. For mounting the, this type of drill bit, we, ha, we, we are used sleeve. We didn't use a drill chuck because on the end are tapered. Here on, the, on this type of drill bit, we may use a sleeve. And the, the drill bit, it comes in different sizes. If we wanted to drill a hole which has, which has 20, 26, we can use this drill bit. And if we wanted to drill a hole which has a 10 millimeter, if we wanted to drill a hole which has 8.5 millimeter, you can use this drill bit. But remember, this type of drill bit, it can be mounted on drill chuck because its shank are straight. It's a parallel tip shank tip. 
And if you wanted to drill a hole which has a 16 millimeter, you can use this one. But you didn't put this in the machine, then, then you may start a drill. You have to use other drill bit which, which is smaller than this until you may reach on this size. You didn't, put, you, you didn't take this one, then you may put on the machine. You have to use a, a, a drill bit which are smaller than this until you may reach on this size. We are, we are going to see the operation which can perform on the drilling machine. The operation which can perform on the drilling machine, we have a drilling operation, we have a rimming operation, we may have a boring operation, we may have a counter-boring operation, we may have a counter-sinking operation, we may have spot facing, we may have a typing operation, a liping operation, a grinding operation, and a trepanning operation. For counterboring operation, we may use this this type of tools. This is a counterbore tools. When you wanted to make a counter sink operation, you can use this type of tools. And those tools are different in size according to the counterbore or counter sink you wanted to make. Also, if there is a smaller and bigger. You, you choose the, the type of, or the size of tools you may use according to the size you wanted to make. After seeing the tools and seeing the machine and it's their part, we are going to see what we call machining parameters. In machining parameters, we have a cutting speed. When we, we say a cutting speed, it means is the, the cutting speed is the, the drilling operation referred to the peripheral speed of a point on the surface of a drill in contact with the work. For calculating the cutting speed, we may take what we call P times the diameter of a drill bit in a millimeter times the RPM over 1,000. For the, the formula which can be used for calculating a cutting speed, in drilling operation, is equal to Where this means cutting speed. And D means the diameter of drill, a drill bit in a millimeter. And N means the, the RPM of a drill, a drill spin. The RPM means rotation per minute. We may have also, other we call it feed. A feed is the a feed of a drill bit is the distance the drill move into the job at each revolution of the spindle. In the simple way, is the distance the tool can enter in the job when the spindle of machine make one revolution. How may calculate the feed? The feed is equal to
F means feed. And Fn means feed per revolution in millimeter. And the N means RPM of the drill bit. This RPM means rotation per minute. That's where we say RPM, rotation per minute. After seeing the parameter of uh, drilling operation, we are, we are going to see if we have a task. I have a task of making the internal thread on my workpiece. On this, uh, the task I have is to make the, the thread on my piece. On this uh, thread I can make, it, they enter the, the, the screw which has this specification. As we see in the previous video, we are seeing how can you choose the size of a drill bit and the, how can perform the, the drilling. We are going to see how can perform the drilling operation. First of all, I can mark I can mark where, where to drill. For example, is in the middle of my workpiece. We are going to mark our piece where we want to make that hole. After seeing this line, I can make what we call a center. This center helping me for, for drilling where my drill bit, it has a sharpened end. This sharpened end, when I, I put a center on my piece, it helps this drill bit to, to fix where in my workpiece. We are going to see how we can use our machine before we start an operation. Our applied drilling machine is look like this. It composed of a different part of, as we have seen. It has a base. A base is this one. It has a column and it has a, a head. Also, it has a table and it has holding, work holding device. For this table, this table of machine, it can make a three movement. It can make a rotation a movement or a, a rotation direction around its column. It can make a rotation direction according to, the, to its support, like this for a rotating direction for uh, around its column. It goes like this. You can change according to the work you have When you want to make the, the rotation of table according to its, uh, its support, this, this handle is what you, you use for holding the table while you are in the operation. This table, it can rotate on its own support without on the, on the column. And you have also other movement or other Other rotation of our, our table, it come up and out.
Mm-hmm.